something bad happened last night. Jen and I had steak and salad for dinner and either the steak or the salad completely wrecked me. I was up half the night sick and I was so looking forward to getting a good night's sleep. Oh, such a bummer. Still not feeling great, but I have a lot to do today. So it's time to get going. I'm gonna come back later and rest. I'm not gonna do a full day. Just get done what I have to do and then that's it. All right, here we go. So I was talking to a friend who watches my videos and she was saying how she wants to see more of my speaker building, which is awesome. Because the only reason why I stopped showing my speaker building was because I felt that I was showing too much of it and people were getting bored of it. So I think I want to show a lot more of that. solder <clears throat> I ran out of solder Home Depot but I'm actually not taking you with me sorry you have to stay here bye so I ended up also going to the box store so you guys missed out got my solder and now I'm gonna continue working hadn't thought of when I first started these videos was how much space it was going to take up hard drive space. I use a two terabyte external hard drive and it wasn't new so it actually had about like 700 gigs left on the drive of free space. And it's been almost a month. I 
doing these videos and I realized the other day that there's like 10 gigs left. So I did some research. So I did some research on what the cheapest form of storage would be. And it's actually those big 3.5 inch, well, these big 3.5 inch hard drives. They're like for desktops, you know? So I got one. I got a four terabyte hard drive. And the other thing I got is pretty cool too. I'll show you. So storage is important because ideally, considering that part of why I'm doing this is that I want to be able to look back on the videos <clears throat> when I'm older, I want to keep as much of the footage as I can. So deleting the unused footage for the videos isn't really an option. Because if I just kept the videos, it wouldn't take up that much space, but I want, I want everything. I mean, why not? So I got this. This is like a hard drive toaster. So apparently what you do is you can stick, I'm not gonna open it up because I don't know, I don't know what's going on with it. <clears throat> but you stick this hard drive in here and then connect this to your computer and that's how you access the drive. So I figure once, once this is filled, I can get another one put in here, and then if that one fills, I can just get more drives and have the drives in like a box somewhere and I can just have them labeled and I can take it out and put it in when, if I want to view it. Yeah, so that's my solution. So I got a bunch of goodies today. It's fun. I don't know what's in this one. Wow. This entire box. Look how big this box is. For this... <laughs> little thing. It's a battery for my camera. That's crazy. That's way too big of a box. Alright, I'll let you know if it works. <laughs>